What's up guys, this is Tom Dab. I just purchased a set of struts for my 2000 Toyota Celica and I'm thinking about going down to the auto plus store and rent me a pair of these uh, spring compressors so I can compress the springs and replace the struts in my car. This looks fairly simple, compress the spring and remove the struts. Holy crap, um, this is not simple, it looks kind of dangerous and I definitely don't want to get killed today. So I'm not going to be using these clamps. I mean, it can be done, but it does seem kind of dangerous. But I'm going to show you how I did mine. It's a lot easier and safer. You don't have to worry about spring decompressed coming at you. So here, what I got, the spring compressor that I made. And everything's evenly pressed down. And you're using your body weight to compress the spring. And once you remove the nut, you can go ahead and remove your body weight to uncompress it knowing there is no more tension on the spring now you can go and take everything apart knowing it's safe let me show you how to build one of these spring compressor uh, these are leftover metals around the house the uh, angle iron is from like a bed frame i got a half inch conduit pipe i cut into three short sections to make the uh the hinge i use a long bolt to uh, hold all the three pipes together so this is what I got, the angle iron to form the arms, uh, they're about like three foot long and they got a short piece of angle iron uh, where I'm going to bolt my hinge to, uh, that's about six to eight inches in length. If you don't have a welder, I guess it's still possible to do it, um, use like a door hinge or any kind of hinge that is big enough and maybe drill some hole on the angle iron and just bolt them down. So these angle iron that I salvaged from my bed frame, um, they got some pre-drill holes in them and I grind up the, uh, uh, the rivets and the good thing is that they work nicely and they already got the pre-drill hole uh, that saved me some time not to have to drill anything. So if you do have some angle iron that got no holes in them, then you do need to drill some. It just happened, the, the one I got everything will perfectly everything is there to so go ahead and put some bolts in the hand tighten together it look like this right here when it's done so my plan is to add this spring compressor onto the metal post that I got outside and I went ahead and add an extra piece of angle iron welded onto the center piece of the conduit this will provide uh, more surface space for me to weld and also strength when it is in use This spring compressor is not permanently attached to the uh, metal post. I can go ahead and undo that long bolt right there. And only thing that's left attached to the, uh, the metal post is a center conduit pipe. Here it is, it's all done. Let me show you how it works. On the bottom, I have a piece of block so I can adjust it if needed and go ahead and uh, put the arms in between the upper mounts. Then I got a piece of plastic um, corrugated pipe. It's flexible a little bit and just use them to hold the two arms together. And go ahead and sit down to uh, add the weight to compress the spring. Once you remove the nut, then uh, Remove your body weight. Voila! Spring decompress. Everything comes hard. Easy, simple, fast, and safe. Yep, you can say this strut is toast. This car is over 20 years old with the original struts. I went ahead and replaced the uh, the top mount, the, uh, the bellow, the uh, spring seat, and uh, with some new KYB's uh, struts. Putting them back together is quite simple. Line everything up, 
Go and sit on it to apply weight to it so the um, spring will compress down allowing the stretch to go through. Here I had an issue when you sit down on it the, um, the shaft will go through but not enough for me to put the top mount on it so I went and put a nut on it then I used a little pry bar to lift the, uh, the shaft to allow it to go through more so I can put the upper mount on. I know what you're saying, it's not safe. What happened if the bottom slip off the wood? Well, believe me, I mean, I sat on it, it doesn't move. It actually dig into the wood. If you're concerned, you can grab a couple pieces of wood and maybe screw it onto the bottom to prevent it from slipping. So this is how easy it is. Take it off and put it back on. It's quite fast and simple and easy and safe. Now I'm working on the rear struts. I add a couple more blocks on the bottom because it's a shorter one. And I add a bracket on top to secure the uh, top mount down with a couple of bolts to prevent it from slipping because the design is a little different from the front. Since I had the top mount uh, bolted onto the uh, spring compressor, everything stay intact while I'm removing the struts. The uh, rear struts have gone out too. When you push it down, it's supposed to come up slowly. It's a new one, you push it down. See how it comes up? Let's go ahead and reinstall the rear strut back together. It's just as easy as the front one. Slide it in there and compress it down and everything should line up. If not, then you can have room to work on it. Compared to the, um, the spring clamp on each side, if you tighten one side too much, sometimes you can't get the shaft to line up with the mount and Good luck trying to stick your finger if you can between the uh, spring to line up the uh, the shaft to the mount. You just saw the video earlier, right? Here you know everything is uh, evenly compressed and you know if the shaft doesn't line up, you can either let your weight off the, uh, the compressor and make minor adjustment as needed and not worry about anything slipping. Here you just sit down and you just move the, uh, the shaft as needed and line everything up and put the nut back together and you're set. Once you're done with this thing right here, you can go ahead and remove it. It's made to be taken apart. So you can stow it away until the next time you need it again. So if you're able to do a suspension work and you need a spring compressor, if you don't have one, you should make one of these right here. It's uh, easy to make. It doesn't cost me anything. These are scrap models. It's a lot safer and easier to use compared to a lot of spring compressors out there. Yeah, you should make one. I sell you some headaches. I mean, not the one that the spring actually pop them, hit you in the head kind of headaches, but you never know. Thanks for watching and be safe and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching my video.